welcome to lecture number 58. Here uh, another interesting theorem is there which is uh, 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 not really solving a network theorems, but uh, it, uh, it is called popularly known as maximum power transfer theorem. It says that in a network between any two terminals what impedance should I connect? So, that power consumed in that impedance or called load impedance will be maximum power delivered to the impedance is maximum. To begin with uh, let us uh, 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 tell you that you, uh, you have a network here linear network linear network. Suppose, the resistive network resistive we will see also the for the AC circuit how it looks like. You pick up any two points, then here I am going to connect the load impedances. I want to know what should be this load impedance J del or if it is resistive network it is some R L I will connect. What value of R L will give me maximum power? To do this, uh, I be behind A and B, this whole network can be uh, changed to some R thevenins and E thevenins, B thevenins, is not? Then these two points A and B, and then the load resistance here. So, the problem can be simplified in this fashion. Therefore, to find out uh, first the maximum power transfer theorem with DC circuit. So, in DC circuit, in DC circuit, it will be like this that you have a I will consider a battery having a voltage E open circuit EMF, these are the two terminals of the battery and here is your R L. This I will go very quickly and without not much maths. So, uh, and this R L I am going to vary. As you can see if R L is equal to 0, output power will be 0, because there will be current, but R L is 0. Similarly, if R L is very high, are you getting? Suppose, I am plotting here power versus R L in this network. So, for any finite value of R L the value of the current will be E by R S plus R L this will be the current and power in R L this P is equal to I square that is E square by R S plus R L whole square into R L. What I am telling if R L is 0 then power is 0, if R L is very large infinitely large it is R L by another this is R L square. So, then also power will be 0 and it is a uh, smooth curve as a function of R L. Therefore, I must expect so power was 0 here at R L infinity also it was 0, but for finite values of R L it gives you a positive number. Therefore, this power must have gone up reached some maximum value and once again has started coming down is not that is that must be happening. I want to find out what is this value of R L. So, that uh, you get maximum power P max. The answer to this question is very simple that P is equal to E square E mind you E is constant R S is constant you are valuing R L only. So, E square uh, into R L divided by R S plus R L whole square is the expression of the power. Now, therefore, it looks like you differentiate this d p d R L equated to 0 you will get the values of R L, but only thing is uh, it can be that calculation can be simplified if you 
just do like this, this you break up R L square plus 2 R S into R L and there was an R L here and this R L you bring out below this one. So, it will be R S square by R L plus R L R L square by I am dividing both numerator and denominator by R L and then plus 2 R S. So, power will be maximum if the denominator is minimum. Therefore, I will instead of trying to differentiate uh, uh, this whole thing which will also yield same results, but there the thing is R, uh, R L is present in the numerator, denominator. So, th that computation becomes a little not tedious, but uh, compared to that this is much simpler why because it is there. So, I conclude. So, p will be maximum if if this factor r square by r l plus r l plus 2 r s is minimum. That means, d d r l I will set set it to there equal to 0 and if you do it, it will be minus r s square by r l square with respect to r l I am differentiating this will be plus 1 and this will be 0 that is equal to 0 this will be the thing because r s is constant constant I will not going to change r s source resistance and d m f same battery. So, from this I conclude that r l square is equal to r s square or r l is equal to r s knowing fully well that this R L will be a positive number. So, this will guarantee the minimum numerator denominator means maximum power and one can uh, calculate the second derivative and verify that really it is minimum or not I am not going into that. Therefore, we conclude that if you vary R L. So, maximum power will be delivered for a battery the conclusion is this this is the source E here I am connecting R L which is varying and what I got is this one this is R S and if you connect a, a resistance here whose value is R s if R l equal to R s then maximum power in R l will take place maximum power will be dissipated in R l. And only one additional information I will tell you about this maximum power transfer theorem that maximum power will be consumed by the load resistance when its value is equal to source resistance that is in language people say load resistance should be equal to the source resistance in case of DC circuit for maximum power to occur in R L. Okay, that is fine. Now, but you know the impedance of the load is not in your hand it depends upon the application uh, our application requires some voltage to be applied across it R L is really not in our hand, but it is worth noting that what is the efficiency under maximum power 
condition uh, under maximum power condition. What do I mean by efficiency? Efficiency you know is the output power that is in R L power in R L divided by power delivered by the total power delivered by the battery. by the source is not total power delivered by the source. Now, what is power in R L under maximum power condition? It is I square into R S. This is the power delivered in R L because R L equal to R S then so, I square into R s is the power delivered by the source. What is the input power? Two ways you can calculate. It will be the output power that is I square into R s plus, uh, 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 plus another I square into R s which will be loss inside the resistance. So, that mind you this R s I have got R l equal to R s this this R s I have put R l equal to R s is not output power power in R l when R l equal to R s that is what I am meaning. So, I square R s and input power is this output power plus the power loss in this resistance that is the total power delivered by the source and this will become equal to half or 50 percent in percentage. Therefore, maximum power condition if you put R L equal to source resistance ok maximum power will be delivered, but efficiency of this overall system will be only 50 percent not a very good situation. So, uh, so the point is this curve if you plot here some P max here if you put R L and here you put power in R L, then I am telling at R L equal to R S this P max occurs, this is the P max. It is uh, it may be uh, some people may be interested after knowing this ok maximum power will be delivered then I will always try to meant R L equal to R S but you really cannot do it because load impedance is uh, not to be decided by input power condition. If even if somebody insists that no no always connect impedance load impedance to be equal to source resistance ok you will get uh, maximum power delivered to the load, but the point is efficiency of the system will become too poor. So, this is not a very good proposition. However, in case of low level of power in electronic circuits say amplifier circuit etcetera, where power itself is low efficiency uh, uh, does not matter too much there people will always see for impedance matching. So, that maximum power is delivered is not in your sound system ok. <laughs> output impedance of the load speaker should be same as the input impedance. So, that maximum power loudness is important there sacrifice efficiency at that low level how does it matter. Anyway, this is how uh, this is uh, the maximum power transfer theorem in DC circuit. Now, things will be a bit complicated if it is AC circuit maximum power <coughs> in AC circuit by AC circuit I mean sinusoidally excited sinusoidal voltage source
excites the circuit, excites the circuit. How the source can be modeled? AC source, it is like this, this is uh, and the internal impedance of a source or generator will have now a resistance R s as well as a reactance J x s got the point. Because all generators are some coils moving in a magnetic field therefore, that can be modeled as a series impedance of winding resistance as well as reactance nothing like capacitance R s and minus J x s not there. So, these are the source terminals A and B and here is a fixed voltage R m s value is suppose V say V angle 0 degree is the voltage applied A c source. So, I will apply phasor and I am considering the circuit is operating at steady state condition. Okay. Now, here I will connect uh, an impedance J del which will have once again two components R l plus J x l. If this x x x l if this x l is positive it is inductive circuit if the value of the x l is negative it is capacitive circuit and I am telling that I will be varying both of them. The question is what should be should be J del so that real power consumed in J del is maximum. This is how the problem should be stated. Okay, R L X L you arbitrarily connect, you vary them. This is the source impedance this is source impedance constant. This is the supply voltage constant. Therefore, what should be this value of R L and X L in terms of say R X X S. So, that power in J del will be maximum. So, power expression of power now for any arbitrary value of R L and X L power will be maximum when what is the expression of power current square into R L that is the expression of the power real power. So, that real power is I square into R L which happens to be equal to this voltage into current into cos theta of this circuit we know that is not. So, power consumed in this load impedance will be the expression of that will be simply I square into R L I is the R m s value of the current. Now, what is the R m s value of the current? R m s value of the current will be the supply voltage R m s value divided by the total impedance of this circuit which are happens to be series in nature. So, it will be R s plus R l square plus j uh, y j x s plus x l square is not under root. this is the expression of the current. So, put it here. So, it looks like it will be V square this is algebraic equation mind you voltage by impedance decides the R m s current we know that. So, this will be then equal to V square into R l divided by R s plus R l square uh, 
plus xs plus xl square. And in this expression, you know what are the things I will be varying? I will be varying rl as well as xl, other things are constant. I want to find out what should be rl and xl. Now, it looks like there are two variables here to decide uh, the power because I will be going to change both rl and xl. Now, the to deal this problem most efficiently what I will do it try to understand this step. I will first choose any value of R L, any fixed value and keep it fixed. For example, R L equal to 2 ohm and I will try to find out the condition of X L. So, that power will be maximum there got the point. Instead of varying R L and X L simultaneously, now this step is very important then you can save lot of time in derivations differentiating things just like that. What I will do is this let R L be fixed at some particular value at some particular value any particular value. say R L equal to 1 ohm, I will not vary R L, X L only I will vary. So, in that case what I am telling is that is this problem of getting this uh, value of the load impedance for maximum efficiency, I am doing in two steps. First step I will fix R L to some any arbitrary value I will fix it. Then I will say that if that be the case, then then power in R L will be P is equal to I square into R L, is not, and R L being now fixed at a particular value when power will be maximum, when I is maximum, when the RMS value of the current is maximum, then only power in this R L will be maximum, is not? I will vary X L, the particular value and, and X L is only varied, X L is only varied. So, under this assumption I know what will be the power in R L, power in R L is I square into R L, I square into R L, R L I have made fixed, who is changing then I is changing, what for because you are varying X L. Which value of X L will give maximum R M S current under this scenario? So, so, P will be maximum, P now will be maximum if I is maximum and I is this expression where R s R l is fixed in this case the same expression is valid now for I. Now, I am telling R s R l I have now fixed I am not changing R l x l only I will vary now. Then when I will be maximum does it require any derivation? I will simply say I will be I is maximum looking at this expression if the value of x l is equal to minus x s 
then only it will be maximum otherwise how got the point but then you will say look you have still not completed your solution you have simply said that if xl value is chosen to be minus xs then you will get maximum power in rl for a particular value of a rl Now, to maximize the current, no matter what is the value of R L, X L must be set to minus X S. So, I, I then conclude that here the now I then write that. Now, what we have got in the circuit. this is your r s j x s j x s say these are the two terminals i have got one thing maximum power will take place if uh, if the load impedance is set to this value for a for a particular R L. So, for a particular R L if this is the thing current will be how much? Current will be this voltage divided by R S plus R L is not under this scenario. No matter what, suppose you choose R L equal to 5 ohm, I will say maximum power will take place in this R L equal to 5 ohm provided the load impedance is 5 minus J x s, J x s is fixed. If somebody chooses, choose, uh, chooses 8 ohms R L equal to, then also he will say maximum power will take place when x l equal to x s. Of course, the, the level of these two powers will be different that is different issue. Therefore, essentially once this is chosen I will now vary play with R l and this circuit this R s the magnitude of the current this circuit becomes a unity power factor circuit looking at this. So, this is equivalent to R s and here is R l is not what else this is equivalent to this and this case I already know when the maximum power will take place when R L, R L equal to R S is not the moment the reactance value of the load impedance is fixed it has to be minus J X S then all the current can be maximized R M S value of the current. Therefore, I will say now with this choice of X L, X L choice should be minus J X S then uh, uh, power will be maximum power. Now, I am I have fixed excess and I will vary R L <laughs> this is the second stage I am doing power will be maximum if R L equal to R S and this need, need not be redone because I have already done it in a circuit supply voltage is V R S R L resistive circuit what is this. So, the final conclusion is is that in a circuit I better I draw it this is the AC supply V 0 degree whatever it is it is source impedance R s 
plus j x s. These are the two terminals where I am connecting load and now I will say I will vary both load and source impedance simultaneously you imagine you are varying. Then for p max this is j del for p max j del must be equal to R L minus J X S R S minus J X S or people say that load impedance should be complex conjugate in general. Although source impedance cannot be capacitive, but for academic interest you can also see if a, if your uh, source has got uh, capacitive input impedance then the load should be inductive then r plus j complex conjugate of that maximum power transfer will take place got the point and the last case so this point you see how nicely this problem has been tackled in general i wrote this expression my goal is to find out both rl and xl i will arbitrarily vary want to know what should be the value of rsrl then I say that look here instead of trying to vary both of them together imagine that okay, R L you have fixed some value and only X L you are varying. Then we came to the conclusion no matter what, uh, what value of R L you have chosen maximum power will be only when X L equal to minus X S because current is to be maximized. Then we allowed R L to vary and x l is set to minus j x s. Finally, uh, uh, the thing is uh, suppose you have a situation like this AC circuit uh, this is a standard topic this is suppose source impedance j x s and here is the load impedances j del I have connected. Z is the load impedance. Suppose I say load impedance is such that it is purely resistive, that is only R L, only R L is connected and I will vary this purely resistive load, purely resistive load. what should be R L for maximum power delivered to R L once again you will go by this current is i here of course one variable i will just give an indication what will be the magnitude of the current this is the rms value of the voltage v divided by square root of rs plus rl whole square plus x square is not this is the thing and what is the expression of power for any value of rl it is i square into rl which is equal to v square put the value of the current sorry. So, v square by R s plus R l whole square plus x s square into R l this will be the maximum power. Then once again uh, for because R L appears both in numerator and denominator you can differentiate D P D R L set to 0, but uh, I always do this uh, bring this R L below. If you bring this R L below this can be written as R S by R L plus 1 whole square plus x square by r l 
is not this is correct this uh, rl you bring and put it inside no it is not it is square is not there uh, well, let us not do this let us uh, do it is like this b square rl uh, let us uh, do this step uh, expand this x square plus rl square plus 2 rs into rl plus x square of which rs and x s are constant this is constant internal impedance of the source then what you do you bring this rl below this rl so it will be r s square plus x square divide this one i group together and divide by r l this will be the thing plus r l square by r l that is r l plus 2 r s this will be the thing all the terms are ok hopefully 2 r s so power will be maximum if the denominator is minimum is not because v square is constant in the numerator so p will be maximum if denominator is minimum and denominator minimum will occur if you vary d d r l this whole thing is uh, r s square plus x s square divided by r l plus r l plus 2 r s this quantity differentiate it and set it to 0. What will be the differentiation? This will be r s square plus x s square oh, oh, r l square plus r s square plus x s square and this will be minus 1 by r l square and plus 1 this will give you 1 and differentiation r s being constant is 0 and this is equal to 0 this will be the thing or you will get r s square plus x s square if you manipulate this it will be equal to r l square or r l which has to be a positive number so is this one which happens to be the magnitude of the source impedance therefore remember if it is only resistive the maximum power for this value of r l has to take place that is for maximum power r l is to be said to this for example if i say r s uh, plus j x l is 3 plus j 4 i will say connect a resistance of 5 ohm and maximum power will be delivered to it i hope you have understood this from next class i will start the application of graph theory in network analysis thank you very much